So I'm back with part two of the tutorial as we build this website with Headway to show you exactly how easy it is to customize and get unique looks for your business website. In the last tutorial, we gave ourselves some custom colors. We had moved the navigation up to the top. Now I've moved it back down at the bottom because I liked it better there. But we changed colors, uh, uploaded a custom header, and gave our our website a unique look as far as the colors and our header were concerned. So today we're going to go a step further and what I've decided that I'd like to do with this website is I would like to make a footer and in order to do that there are two ways to do that in Headway. One is you could take your basic sidebar and when you open the edit menu and bring up the editor if you go under look and feel you can actually flip the sidebar horizontally so you would um, mark this, check mark this box, and then once you would check mark the box, you would go and you would make this this uh, sidebar longer or wider, and it would fall down, and it would fall down underneath, and become a footer. But I don't want to make a widgetized footer. I actually want to use some of the leafs that come with Headway in order to make a pretty nifty little footer. So in order to do that. Um, we're going to go into our visual editor, which I've already opened, and we're done with designing for right now. But what we are going to go underneath are the leaves, and we're going to add leaves. And the three leaves that I've decided to add and put at the bottom for a footer are the RSS recent post leaf, uh, the about leaf, and the Twitter leaf. And before I close this uh, or push this back to the side. I'm also going to enable the arranging and the resizing. Makes it easier to see. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize these a little bit because I want them to go all the way across the bottom. So in order to do that I just need to resize them a little bit. So we'll just resize each one of them and in order to do that you just pull on the right side of each one of them it will make them a little bit larger and you just keep tweaking them until you kind of have them all around the same size. So we just keep pulling those just a little bit until they're all sized about the same. And we'll go into this recent post RSS feed leaf first and if you click on this little pencil here it opens up the editor and you can either use recent posts from your blog on this website or you can use an RSS feed and I'm going to pull from an RSS feed because I want to pull it from my Clerical Advantage RSS feed so I'm just going to input my RSS feed and the item limit you can have I, I've got three in here that's the default I think I'm going to leave it right at that but you could have more you could have just one showing it really doesn't matter I don't want to show the post date Underneath miscellaneous, this is where uh, we can shoot, choose to show the title or not. Uh, we could actually just have those um, those posts feed in there without a title, but I want a title, and I'm going to change it here in a minute. We're going to exit out of that, and if we double click here, I can actually put at clerical advantage so that you know what the feed is that's coming in there. The next thing I want to do is, if you can see here, this is the little box with a little green arrow pointed down. This is to toggle the fluid height of the leaf. And what fluid height does is when you toggle that, it's going to uh, make that leaf as long as it needs to be to fit those three posts in there. So all of your content, it's going to adjust its size depending on the size of the titles that come in there or whatever. So we want to do that on all three of these. We want them all to be toggled. Then the next one we're going to edit is going to be the about leaf. And I'm just going to put a really short little blurb here about Girly Girl Geek being a division of Clerical Advantage and who I am that runs it. You actually do have a spot where you can put in your picture or an image, but I'm just going to leave it with just the blurb. And I'm going to leave it saying about because that fits. 
And then over here in the Twitter leaf, we're going to open the editor, and we're just going to put the twi your Twitter handle in there. And I'm going to put mine because I'm not going to have a different Twitter handle. And I'm going to put the tweet limit down to three, the same way that my feed is. And then with the date time format, this is really lengthy. Uh, so I'm going to find something that's going to be a little bit shorter. And when I've got all of those adjusted, the next thing I want to do, of course, as always, is to go up and hit the Save button. So now that we have it saved, let's take a peek. And there you go. There's our footer. It looks very professional, doesn't it? I'm sure you've seen similar footers on a lot of business websites. So we've got my feed coming in from Clerical Advantage, my virtual assistant business. We've got the About section there, and we've got the Twitter section there. It's just that easy uh, in to make that really professional-looking footer at the bottom of your page.